What's doing? Welcome to another episode of ProCheck. Today we have a bit of a how to diagnose what's going on with your Colorado. That's right, we have a Holden Colorado, uh, well not Colorado, what is it? It's a Trailblazer. Trailblazer, Josh, Trailblazer. Same difference, same, same engine, just a different body. Uh, it has an engine light on. Customer thought it was a DPF issue, cars surging, blowing smoke, doing weird things, trying to do manual burns and trying, oh, sorry, trying to do automatic burns and trying to sort itself out. Uh, turns out, I'll put the phone around, oh, my camera around here so you can see. Uh, turns out we have a 12 AF code, which is intake, man intake manifold runner control valve stuck, intermediate. Uh, so what these have are in the intake manifold, they have a little flap which helps control airflow for torque and power and things like that. Uh, and it's actually stuck halfway. We can't quite see in down inside the manifold, these are prone for the issue on these cars. Um, problem that causes it is EGR and obviously between the exhaust gas coming in and the oil coming in, it creates a sludge and blocks up the intake. So I'll try and show my camera down this hole so you can see um, why we do what we do and hopefully we can sort this one out today. So here we are down inside here and there you go, you can see down there, that's what's inside your intake manifold when you don't have a catch can and your EGR is still turned on. Um, not healthy at all. And now, Alana's gonna make herself publicly known on YouTube by yelling out at me while I'm videoing. All right, yeah, so this car is in for a tune today, um, and we're going to, but we can't do much while this happening because as soon as we run up on the dyno, it throws a code. The car still runs through, but it's throwing a code. So we're gonna try and do an intake clean on this one. Um, I've cleaned them all before, they've come up really well. Sometimes you can't, and I've seen plenty of dealerships just replace manifolds because it's just too hard to try and clean the plastic out. Um, you can't do much with them because you'll melt the plastic when you try and burn them and do things. So we'll try and do a clean, uh, get, get approval from customers first. If we can get a clean approved, we'll do a clean. I'll show you what we do there, and you'll be able to see the before and after. So we'll get stuck into that, and hopefully we can get on the dyno and we can make some power out of this thing. So we have run up on the dyno, we've got a couple of runs here. This is stock as a rock uh, with the fault in the car. Uh, so you've got 115, 117 and 390 newton meters of torque. So we'll see what we can get out of it. All right, so it's a bit of a rainy day today, so we've got a cover over it, uh, but our machine's hooked on. I'll drain the clean in there now. Uh, you're looking at other videos, you can see the, the unit, but I'll quickly uncover it while it's not raining, but it's just running. Our winds are, uh, multi-serve machine, cleaning it out. And uh, hopefully once it gets up to temp and it starts pumping fluid in, it'll start bellowing out smoke and uh, cleaning that intake out. So we run the clean, oh, you can actually see stuff in there now. So our, um, our, our chemical will actually continue to burn uh, and melt all that stuff off. I'll try and zoom, there we go. You can actually see the EGR pipe there now. It is still some chunky stuff in there, uh, but in general, it's a lot, lot cleaner and it will eventually melt the other stuff out. And our code's now gone and sorted. And now we can get onto the dyno and do some tuning. All right, so we've just run up on the dyno. Uh, we've done a custom tune on it, and now let's go and have a look and see how she goes. All right, so here we are. So uh, yeah, so stock is your blue line here. It's just stock power line, and this is your stock torque line. So we had 114 kilowatts and 394 newton of torque. Now we've got 149 kilowatts and 484 newton meters of torque. So we picked up nearly 100 newton meters of torque. Big mid range through here, and the same as your power. Massive gap, big gains through the mid range. Uh, this will be an awesome car on the road and uh, nice to tow and do the touring with. And I have no more issues with the intake uh, clogging up. We've done the clean, so that'll sort that out. And uh, better fuel economy, no more dramas. So if you have a Trailblazer or a Colorado, you're seeing those codes, let us know, come in, we can do an intake clean. And we can also do a tune and get it sorted and get some more power for you as well. Quick interruption, it turns out we have another Ranger in, well, another, another EGR issue. We've got a Ranger in today. EGR stuck closed, and now we'll swing around here and see why. Oh, I need a light. Please hold and I'll grab a light. 
Okay, we've returned with the light and we'll uh, see what we can do here with my camera. But you can see down in here, the same gludginess, cruddiness, junk. Uh, not as bad, the owner of this one has already done a clean uh, as much as they can up top here. You can see it down the bottom there. Um, they have done a clean as much as they can. And the EGR is now stuck closed, so it's thrown a code. So we've got it on the dyno. I'm gonna do a run, try and turn the code off with the um, scan tool. I'm gonna do a run on the dyno, see what we can get through without going to limp mode, get us some sort of power reading. We're gonna run out the front, do another intake clean on this one with our machine, make sure it's clean, clean. And then we're gonna run back on the dyno, do a tune and sort that EGR out and uh, have another car sorted with no more issues. So it's windy today, we'll see the smoke coming out of this one. Oh, yep, it's blown off anything, but proper smoky today. There you go, spray. So we've done the clean again, and you can see how clean she is in there now. You can actually see that EGR bike nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, cleaner works. We've gone for a test drive. I'll come back out of here so you can see me. We've gone for a test drive. Uh, no more EGR light, no more stuck, cold, stuck closed code. So the cleans work once again. So great work from Winds with their chemical and their machine. But we're gonna run up on the dyno, load it right up, check it all out. Then we'll throw a tune in and uh, get it wicked up a little bit. And uh, we'll sort that EGR out 100%. All right, so we just ran up on the dyno, done a couple of runs and made sure we're all good. And then we did a, a proper full power run. So run up on the screen here now, and I'll show you what it's done. So you can see here, uh, original when it came in is 74 and 266, now it's at 76 and 279. So we've picked up more torque, we've picked up more power through the whole range, uh, and that's just the intake clean. So if that doesn't prove an intake clean, and obviously we had an EGR fault, but it, the light wasn't on the first run either. Uh, but yeah, intake clean, and that's only after literally doing the clean out in the car park and the lap around the block. So yeah, we only did the lap around the block a couple of times, and I did the, a couple of runs on the dyno then. The chemical we use will continue to burn and melt the other crap out of there, so we'll get better again. Uh, but time constraint today, we're going to get up and do a tune on this thing and uh, see if we can get some more power out of it anyway. Yeah, that's it running there. We've got traffic control lights obviously because we're in the dyno, but no other engine lights on. Alright, so we've uh, done a few runs back to back. We've uh, had to get a few little things ironed out in the car and sort some issues out, but she's all done. We've got the tune, pardon me, we've got the tune in. Uh, had the, in, the clean done and it's all cleaned out and it's making some really good power, some really good torque. So let's put the camera around and have a look. Oh, I'll turn this so you can see a little bit better. So there we go. So we've got the 74 kilowatts that it came in with in 266 newton meter torque, uh, 76 and 279 on with after the clean. And then with the tune, we've got 90 kilowatts and 324 newton meters of torque. So you can see this power gain here that picks up power all the way through. Uh, torque's the same, pick up torque all the way through. So uh, yeah, she's got a good power gain, good torque gain again this is this is only the 2.2 so there's not much in these things um, we can't push them too hard uh, but definitely no more engine light no more EGR faults more power more fuel economy uh, more reliable well as reliable you can get as a Ranger I guess uh, but if you're interested in the EGR issues if you're interested in the dyno tune if you're interested in the intake cleans uh, we do DPF cleans as well, uh, as well in on-car injection cleaning and off-car injection cleaning. Give us a yell, uh, but yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more content.